today we are back with another taste test video. You guys seem to like these. Hopefully. Some maybe. of them, the cheese one, you guys like the cheese one, the candy yeah. one, maybe not so much, but hey, we're back here to do it again. So just the other day I went to Trader Joe's to buy ingredients for a recipe and I ended up running into all of this pumpkin stuff and I was reading labels and uh, it looks like most of this stuff is vegan or vegan friendly. So uh, I ended up spending too much money and filling the cart with a bunch of pumpkin and fall inspired stuff. So uh, I, could bring it home and do a taste test with Ben. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. So it smells like pumpkin spice in here. It's because uh, this here is actually a pumpkin spice bread. Yeah, it's kind of filled the house with an aroma. So uh, I'm definitely ready for that. It's one a of the, really good smell. Yeah. One of the reasons that we're filming this kind of at night and it's a little bit dark is because I just want to eat that bread. So I'm making Ben film this video with me at night. So. Yeah, normally we shoot at like noonish. This is what, like 8.30 at night? It is. But not, not normal, no natural light, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But I want that pumpkin bread. So uh, do you want to sort of do this as like a, you know, start with breakfast and end with... I don't think it matters, dessert. really. Um, um, yeah, let's start with breakfast. You want to do that? Okay. All right, so we have these uh, pumpkin O's, which do say on the package that they are vegan. So that's good. Do you want to go ahead and open that? Is, and isn't will... most cereal vegan? Uh, depending on some of the vitamins, I guess. Uh, or sometimes they have honey. Depending on the vitamins, what do yeah, you Yeah, sometimes, like, I, I forget, like vitamin D, I think, is sometimes extracted from, like, wool. I don't know, don't what? quote me on that. I don't know, Google it. What? It's a thing. Vitamin uh, D extracted from wool. Yeah, there's something, or maybe, I don't know what it is. Something that comes, like, on, like, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but you know, sometimes oh, it's like we're, actually, we're actually gonna have milk. Yeah. Good. I was hoping that it so, was gonna be like. We're gonna be using my homemade soy milk here, and uh, we're gonna try these pumpkin oats. Let me read some of the ingredients for you. Uh, whole grain brown rice, cane sugar, whole grain oats, brown sugar. It does have pumpkin, salt, and then you have. Better spices. have pumpkin. It does have pumpkin. It's, so. They're pumpkin oats. They if there's not pumpkin, pumpkin oats. What are we even? What are we trying it for? Okay. I haven't had Cheerios in a really long time. I'm actually gonna try one without milk. Oh, that's a good idea. Mmm. Are they really good? Yeah, it's a good first impression. I haven't had Cheerios in a long time either. I haven't had cereal in a really long time. Mmm. Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. I think I'm gonna like this. All right. Uh, and this, again, is my homemade soy milk. I will put a link to the recipe for this because it's really good. Mm hmm They're really good. Have we talked about whether or not we're doing a rating? No. Um, there's no point in doing like comparison rating <clears throat> with any of this stuff, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Just like an overall rating. Yeah, the flavor's not like, eh, it's really good. Yeah, I'd give these like an eight. Yeah, this is an eight we were in I would <clears throat> definitely buy these. What kind of cereals did you eat as a kid or would you, if you were to buy cereals again, would you? Yeah. Um. My mom might not agree with this, but she would never buy us the cereal that we wanted to have. Like I never had all like the sweet stuff. She mm -hmm. wouldn't buy like Fruit Loops or any of that kind of stuff. Not until like later on, then I think she kind of stopped caring. Um, so yeah, this is good. This is good. Like a lot better than most of the stuff I had as a kid. I definitely ate a lot of Cheerios. Uh, just like a lot of the plain stuff, like Pops. What are, oh, yeah, yeah. Is that all? It's gotta have my pops. Yeah, is that all they're called? Pops, yeah, corn pops. Yeah. As a kid, I was always like a savory breakfast person. I never really liked cereal, so. Oh man, I ate so much cereal. I would like wait for my mom to make me something savory, like potatoes or biscuits and gravy or something. I ate cereal every morning and pretty much every day after school. Lots okay. of bowls of cereal. As an adult and a college kid, cereal becomes more of a snack and like a dessert, sometimes a dinner, than it is. I feel like. Than, it, than it's actually a, a breakfast. For me, cereal, like, I don't, why don't we have cereal around here? I need we, to start buying cereal. We do now. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. It takes five seconds to prepare and yeah. you're eating. Exactly. All right, Sorry. well, that was good. Okay. What's next? Um, do you want to try this? Yes, I do want to try that. Okay, go ahead and open that and I'll get glasses. So uh, go ahead and tell them what it is. Uh, pumpkin spice almond beverage, so. Yeah, just like pumpkin spice milk, basically. I'm guessing that the idea is that you put a couple of shots of espresso or maybe you put this into your coffee. Or alcohol. Or alcohol, what would you like? 
rum? What's up? I don't know. Actually, I don't really ever drink. Yeah, if you were to make, if you were to make a cocktail, what would you mix with pumpkin spice almond beverage? I'd be interested to to know. Mm, well, it's, it's it's like it's dope. Dope. Can I have a little more? I'm... Yeah. <laughs> that good? Yeah. It's like a thick and it's like orange. Yeah. A thick. It's thick and orange. So I'm hoping this is sort of like actually. Can I see that? Something because I really like like eggnog or silk nog. I'm hoping it's you like eggnog. I do. I'm hoping it's something similar to that. So almond, cane so sugar, repulsive. pumpkin puree, uh, some stabilizers and gums. Lots of stabilizers and gums. Cinnamon, nutmeg. It contains almonds. I mean, I could definitely decorate a Christmas tree and drink some of this. The spice. I would say it's like spicier than it is sweet. Like the the nutmeggy kind of. I like it. I don't it's know. Really good. I don't know how much of it I could drink. Like I don't think I'd want a really big glass. Something about this size yeah. would probably be good. If you like eggnog, this is. I, I would definitely say it's like a fall eggnog. It's like pumpkiny eggnog. Eggnog is just disgusting. This is good. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. I do want to try that with some coffee or. Or even on like this pumpkin cereal, <laughs> like just like right. add, like boost up the the pumpkin flavor. I think that would actually make like a great bowl of cereal. So, pumpkin spice almond beverage definitely gets our approval. It's like another that. like eight probably. Yeah, it's also like one thing I've noticed is I've eaten various pumpkin spicy things. Like this flavor is really like hanging around in your mouth, and I'm not mad about it. Mm -hmm. I uh, like I like the sweet spice combination. Yeah, it's good. Uh, do you want to do these now? What is this? So these are organic pumpkin spice granola bark. And I've read the ingredients a ton of times. Uh, everything on here is ingredients. Uh, everything on here is ingredients. Yeah. Everything on here is uh, organic. Uh, so it's like a dark chocolate covering of like a granola. It's sweetened with maple syrup. There's no honey or anything in here. Uh, and then you have your traditional like fall pumpkin spices. So anyone that's watching this video, are they going to be able to buy this stuff if they're actually interested in it? Or is it all going to be like out of stock? So we're filming this on with the 8th, 9th, 7th? 7th. 7th of October. And uh, as far as I know, Trader Joe's has these things probably through the fall. I know that they have a lot of seasonal items. Which and then obviously it's just gone. Why does pumpkin spice have to disappear? Because it's seasonal. And you got to make way for like the peppermint flavor. And then you, I don't know. So, uh, okay. First impression, it's a little bit dry looking. Like the granola on the back and even on the front, they just look kind of, they look really vibrant on the cover. I think it looks pretty much the same. It looks thicker than the pieces yeah, on the cover. Yeah, it is quite thick. Two C's. I can't, I can't even bite into it. Mm. Okay. Wait, do I like this or not? So what I'm getting is granola bar with chocolate. That's what it is. But I'm not really getting any of the like seasonal spice blend. Like, I, I think there's a hint. Pumpkin spice. It's not really. It's like more saltiness than it is pumpkin mm -hmm. spice. Yeah, the salty sweet balance is nice. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. Be a good breakfast on the go. And they're all pretty much like cut in like a nice like granola bar shape. I was expecting it to be more random like pieces. Yeah. Like misshapen. Jagged, but. Yeah. Pumpkin spice is coming at the very end. I don't know, I actually really like it. I've been craving a lot of chocolatey stuff lately. This would be a good fit for that. Yeah, there's a spice at the very, very end. I mean, is this healthy? Um, organic doesn't mean healthy, but it's organic. I don't think it's, it's not bad. Uh, one and a half pieces is a serving, it's 150 calories. That's not bad. Remember when we had that like chocolate covered rice cake? That's sort of what the chocolate reminds me of. And this sort is of a like, lot better though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I don't know if I'd buy it again. Really? Huh. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be like, oh my God, you gotta go out and buy this. Like this, I would be like, you gotta have this. You gotta try this. This. I don't know. I think people would really like this. They might. 
I thought that was gonna be my least favorite thing. Really? Yeah. It's good. I would give it like a solid seven and a half. Um, you wanna try the JoJo's? Yes. So the JoJo's are the Trader Joe's. Sorry if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you. So this video <laughs> yeah, is I guess this video is completely pointless uh, for you, but sorry. But this is for all y'all that have all these and have been trying all the vegan Aldi products, and we don't have an Aldi in town, so this is payback. Yeah. What is what is all these again? All these is that like it's so like who I owns think it's it? the same company as Trader Joe's. It's Trader Joe's adjacent. Although I will say, when I went into all these, I was like completely unimpressed. Yeah, it's like. A big box store, but smaller. Just like a Costco. Like it's a like completely random aisles that don't make any sense. You'd have like pasta next to like candy. Like, I don't, it seemed weird, but maybe it was that particular get one. To it. So the JoJo's line, every season they have a new JoJo's. The Neapolitan one. Did we do a video where we tried the Neapolitan one? No, they were going to be a part of the candy video, but I ended up not doing them. Uh, but they're, they're sort of like their Oreo cookie. Do you think there's more stuffing in this than an Oreo? It does seem or like my same. stuffing is overflowing. So sugar, stuffing. flour, does have palm oil. That's triggering to anybody. Uh, it does have pumpkin powder, flour. It's no better for you or different for you than an Oreo. Yeah. Really I mean, good cream consistency. Of, of course, this was gonna be good. Mm. Like, that's lovely. It's really good. I would eat this over an Oreo. Oh, for sure. The the cookie itself is like more. Does it read like whole grain to you, or is it like pumpkin? If it read whole grain to me, I wouldn't be into it. Like, it's not like a vanilla cookie. It's like a spice cookie. That's what it, it's like. A. That's just really good. A lot of flavor. Mm-hmm. More flavor than an Oreo for sure. I always find Oreos a little bit bland. Hmm, this is awesome. I love that. I feel like you actually get fewer. I, I don't know why I thought the JoJo's had more like three columns. Yeah, you only get like two sides. Yeah. That's delicious. These are so good. Yeah, 10 out of 10 on those. Yeah. Yeah. The Neapolitan ones, it was like chocolate, strawberry, and I don't know what else, a vanilla cookie. Those were incredible, those are just as good. Um, I guess, well, we have these chips left, these pumpkin uh, tortilla chips, and then we have the, the pumpkin bread. What do you wanna do first? Palette cleanse with the chip? Yep. So. Wow, those JoJo's though. <laughs> I'll let you keep those. Those aren't gonna before. last that long. Crafted with simple ingredients, including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So I thought these were gonna be fairly straightforward, just like, a chip but also made with pumpkin, but it does have the pumpkin spices, cinnamon, nutmeg. Go ahead and pop it out while you read it. So the oh, chip- wait. So like, are you meant to really have this with like salsa or some kind of a dip? Good question. I ended up buying this like harvest salsa from Trader Joe's, which I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be perfect. Uh, it had honey in it, so it didn't make the video. I'll probably exchange it for something else. But yeah, I was surprised that uh, it does have pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, nutmeg, pumpkin puree. I mean, it's a tortilla chip. Yeah, all um, the other stuff is not there. I'm not reading it. Maybe there's a little bit of cinnamon. There, yeah, I think there's like a little hint of like a tortilla chip has basically no flavor. It's a vessel for like salsa or some kind of a dip. This has just like the slightest hint of something. I was sort of expecting them to be, what are those things that you can get at like Taco Bell, like cinnamon sugar chips? What? It's like a dessert chip. They have, like, they have like cinnamon twists, like the okay. cinnamon twists, which right. that's not really like this. That's kind of what I was expecting these to be a little bit no, sweeter no, no. with like a, that cinnamon sugar type of. I mean, it's a totally passable, fine tortilla chip. As to it being pumpkin and pumpkin spice, to me, there's no. Yeah, you're probably not gonna notice much. No, and when you do, it's at the very end, you almost wish it wasn't there. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Um, was there like a price premium on this over like regular? And honestly, all these things are like really inexpensive. They're sort of in like the three to $4 range. Like everything is fairly reasonable. I think something's even less, so I don't think this is more than like three or four dollars. 
So which, basically the normal price of a chip yeah. like that. They're fine. They got six, seven. Yeah, there's like a cinnamon, that lingering cinnamon flavor at the end, which I was saying was good in some of the other things. Um, I don't know, I'm just not, not in love. Well, all right. So is the bread the last thing. We're already on the last. The bread thing. is the last thing, but there's a special guest. Special guest. It is not pumpkin spiced, but it is carrot cake spread, and it touts on the side here: carrot cake in a jar without the flour and eggs, and actually without any dairy as well. So I'm gonna have you open that. Uh, also, pumpkin things are normally served with cream cheese, so I did buy Trader Joe's cream cheese as well, which I've been using on bagels. So. Hmm. So the ingredients on that are fairly wholesome, I what guess. I mean, it's carrot cake spread. Carrot cake spread. So it's why does it not smell like carrot carrots, cake then? apricots, raisins, pineapple? What does that smell? Not carrot cake. <laughs> uh, I should have a couple of knives here. I want to try that on its own. I don't know if I do. So this is also part of their like seasonal fall line, but not technically pumpkin. What? No, not not good. I like it. It's ambitious to call that carrot cake. No, it doesn't smell anything like it. I don't imagine it could. It's taste. sort of just like a marmalade, mm. spicier marmalade. I don't hate it. I like it, but. Uh, Again, I think it's a little ambitious to call it. Um, the smells off putting to me. So about this cake here. So pump, or cake, pumpkin cake. bread a and muffin mix here. And the same thing I've done with, uh, they have a couple other breads and uh, things like that. And also their cornbread. It's uh, a mix, ingredients, flour, stabilizer, sugar, pumpkin, seasonings, uh, some soybean oil. Uh, made on shared equipment with eggs and tree nuts, but it doesn't actually contain any eggs or dairy. Uh, you are supposed to add eggs and oil. So when I prepared this, I used applesauce instead of the egg, and then I did just use the oil because I was already taking out the the egg. So I decided to to keep the moistness with the oil. So it's accidentally vegan, I guess, especially when you make it without eggs. So slice it up here. Good crumb. I feel like I've heard that on like the Great British Bake Off. It's like, ooh, good, I watched good a lot crumb of the on this. Good crumb. British good crumb. Bake Off. Um, all right. Grab a slice. Mmm. It's it smells really solid. Good. And the fact that like again, I just subbed out the egg for um, applesauce. What video is it that we are doing? I don't know. The cheese. Oh, is this cheese slices? Probably. Yeah. That's delicious. You don't like that? I'm gonna put a little cream cheese on mine because like I said, I think pumpkin bread always has to have a bit of cream cheese. Wanna try some? I've never had cream cheese on pumpkin bread. Um, this is maybe a little boring to me. It's not overly spiced, but I think it's delicious. It's, maybe I just really, <laughs> again, I wanted to film this video so that we could make this, it's or so we could try this. good. Yeah. Um, I guess I just maybe expected a little bit more spice or pumpkin flavor. I love it. Hmm. Okay. I don't recommend this. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put my foot down. I I've, don't. I've never had cream cheese on pumpkin bread. Sort if that's standard. A, if that's a thing, but wow, yeah. that really works. Like, why does that work so well? Uh, Cause this is a little bit salty and creamy. It's sort of like a cream cheese frosting on like a carrot cake. Damn, that's good. Like, like I could totally like put some between two pieces and make like a sandwich. So it'd be amazing. Let's try it here. Cause I guess, you know, carrot cake does have cream cheese frosting as I was just saying.
Don't buy this. Yeah, this is good though. The cream cheese like completely changed it for me. Which uh, Jackie from Vegan Yak Attack, I was talking to her about vegan cream cheeses the other day. She's like, cause I was talking about how expensive they are. She's like, just buy the one at Trader Joe's. It's like 2.99, which it is. So it's like half the price. I feel like most others, um, you know, it's not like the most clean of ingredients. It does have oil and it's mostly oil, but it's a good vegan cream cheese if you're looking for one. So side note, picks up some of this when you pick up this stuff, so. Uh, so our last taste test video was super long and that was kind of a complaint. So I guess we should try to cut this off now before this gets even longer. But um, again, if you're liking these taste test videos, let us know anything else you'd like us to test. Uh, I, I usually walk into a store like I did with Trader Joe's and become overwhelmed by all the options and just buy them all up and say, hey Ben, let's do a taste test video. This was really good. I expect to have some of this stuff like while well, pumpkin carving or something. And maybe we'll even do a pumpkin carving video just yeah. cause. I'm talking to some people. Oh and, really? Uh, yeah. And some negotiations about possibly doing a pumpkin carving video. So negotiations we'll have started about pumpkin carving. Okay. Got to get on it. So uh, so we're going to probably be uploading this on Monday, which means you're not going to see a recipe video. Today. But maybe you'll get one Tuesday but or Wednesday. You'll, you'll definitely get one sometime this week. So, well, thank you all for watching. Again, if you like this, comment below. Uh, let us know what else you'd like us to try. Do yeah, this. definitely thumbs up. I see a lot of people talking about the bell. Uh, please do click that bell if you're yeah, not getting notifications. Him. Yeah, bell me. Uh, subscribe, share, like. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Um, yeah, so go get yourself some pumpkin stuff. Have a great week. Yeah, any of this stuff other than like maybe the chips and this trash you'd be happy with. Yeah, very happy. All right. All right. Thanks Bye. for watching.